We're back on the morning brew. I'm Larry Aarons. Aaron Muffaletto, who decided to go with the yellow dress today, uh, is with us. You look I great match today. with these flowers. Yes, you do. You do. What a show today. Very good Been show. Perfect. It's very exciting. A lot of people. Social media, Gary Goodman, development, Jenna Marquez with Horse Rehab, art. You know, it, it, so so folks understand, you know, we know who's coming on the show mm -hmm. and we prepare for what they're going to talk about. But I always learned something. Yeah. I always come away informed better than I was when I walked in here. And uh, it was great to talk to Gary and learn about the, the whole, tried to get the names of the places <laughs> out of him. I had to ask, right? He's like, I'm not going to let no, that go. No, but. I thought I could sneak up on him because it was so early. But apparently, there's some good stuff coming to Winrock, and it sounds really like a marvelous project. I am really excited. I've been seeing the Dave & Buster's commercials for about two years or so now, and I keep having conversations with people about when is it going to come up. So I'm excited uh -huh. to know that they'll start construction in 90 days. So have you know, that to look forward to at the end of the summer. Isn't maybe. that interesting that he said the, the BJ's uh, in Winrock right now is probably their leading restaurant in the whole chain. Yeah. Uh, same thing happens with every place that opens on a national level. Look, I, I'm all for local. But yeah. look, national chains are going to be here and everyone that opens has this big record-breaking event and they're acting so surprised like uh, that Albuquerque couldn't sustain something and it turns out to be it's like same thing happened with P.F. Chang's when they opened some years ago yeah and, I, and others I was just having a conversation with the girls in the back about Chipotle one of the girls said she's never tried it and yes. I'm bringing my little for my sorority for lunch there and there's three locations now and I think they're doing a fourth location and it's funny because I was joking about how we used to have a Chipotle Facebook page like a fan book uh -huh. and I would write letters like asking them to come and at the time this was maybe five years ago they're saying yeah. well we're not sure if there's a market there yet and everybody loves Mexican and burritos sure. come on <laughs> so now they you know, they plopped one and it's packed all the time, so now we have four. Yeah. It's, I mean, things do really good here. You just have to give it do. a chance. If they just give it a chance, yeah. that's, that's the message. We also had Brian Kramer on. Uh, social media is a fascinating topic, and I think what applies in social media this week doesn't apply two weeks from now because it's such it's an always evolving changing. thing. And um, I find Twitter fascinating. I, I still am not quite sure what to do with all my LinkedIn contacts, but mm -hmm. I'm working on it. <laughs> I've got over 2,500. Yeah, it's good to have that big network and people you can call and contact if yeah, you're it, trying it to find is. somebody in a company. So it's it great. Is. That's been useful. Facebook, yeah, it's okay. I you see, know, yeah. Too many cats, but other than that, it's, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. So there's this other social site that I just have been getting into, and it's been around for a while. I just started getting into, into it though. It's called Vine, and you record yeah. five or six seconds of video, uh -huh. and then you can just scroll down, kind of like Instagram I've or Facebook, this. just videos. It's pretty neat. It's entertaining. So I think that's going to catch on. Video. I wonder where we could get some video. Hmm. hmm. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> And I had no idea about the, the Hyatt Horse Rehab Program. It's that is marvelous. It's such a great marvelous. program, especially I, with the, the horse slaughter thing going yeah. on in the south. This is a great, good thing to look at. So, uh, on, on tomorrow's show, Joe Badal will be here. I've known Joe for years. He's, uh, uh, he's, he's one of those people that went from CEO to his real passion, and that's being an author. And he's written five, oh. six books now. Joe's going to be on the show tomorrow along with uh, all kinds of other interesting folks like we do every day. If you do want to find us on Facebook, you can at uh, The Morning Brew with Larry Aarons on Get Facebook. Get social with us. Yeah, we're there. We're social. <laughs>